all of my Taurus out there. So um, please make sure to get the book at Amazon or BarnesNoble.com. The link will be in the description box below as usual. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share the video. Um, yeah, so uh, let's get into it. So if you'd like to contact me for personal reading, my email address as well as prices are in the description box below. Let me see. Uh, obviously, I don't do videos every single day, but I do videos most days, right? So I'm not just gonna leave everybody even most of the time with nothing, you know what I mean? You're definitely gonna get some form of content, just not every single day, you know? So the cards that I come up with are the King of Swords, Two of Wands, Page of Swords, the, uh, the Star, the Four of Swords, the, um, the Eight of Pentacles, the Tower, the uh, Ten of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and last but not least, you have the Sun card. So what I'm seeing here for the Taurus, this is for Taurus, of course, is I'm seeing how a lot of you Taurians, as of right now, um, so how do I say this? Like a lot of you Taurians were going through some sort of disagreement with someone uh, who used to be a significant other. Maybe even could have been... <laughs> maybe even could have been a friend, excuse me, that you once thought that you could have potentially been with. And obviously that didn't work out because you have the two of wands, the page of uh, two of wands, the page of swords. So this is about how this person end up turning the corner and they end up showing you a side of themselves that you didn't necessarily think was there. So the sun and the, uh, the sun and the Four of Swords now represents this being a situation for a lot of you where, or I should say really more so for them, where, you know, they're, they're in the game, right? They're interested in the game, right? The whole trying to disqualify you as some sort of a potential partner, you know, but doing all the idiot stuff like, you know, dating everybody else or trying to hang out with everybody else or treating everyone else a certain type of way except for you and then later on regretting it because all you know all of it was just an idiotic elaborate plan to to get your you know your get your attention that type of goofy stuff so the things that the um the eight of pentacles and the tower is about how you you taurians you see them right the tower obviously represents uh, Scorpio, which is the opposite sign of Taurus. And then you have the uh, Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles now is a representation about like how, like I said, you see it. You see what's going on. You peep game. And obviously you may have even left or you're gearing up to leave. But a lot of you have pretty much already left. I'm just talking about something that happened in the past and current future as of right now. And then what happened is you have the 10 of wands, which is your own self-worth. And you realize that, you know, um, you realize that this person was in the game because that's what the game is. The game is all about quote unquote value, right? But in actuality, it's really just a game, quote unquote, because it's not really a game. It's really just a game of idiocracy. Quite literally, it's like you'll, you know, people will play this game where they'll tell somebody who they may actually like, nah, I don't really want to talk to you. And then when that person says, all right, whatever, I'll just move on. Then the other person is upset about the other person moving on. So why did you tell the other person you didn't want to talk to them in the first place? And you expected them to actually stick around. Like what, where? What what was the mentality? It's like, oh, because, you know, you may have wanted, you know, you didn't want to, you know, it's because those types of people who do goofy stuff like that, they look at it like they didn't want to be seen as a loser, right? It's, it's all a quote unquote play on value. They didn't want to be seen as a quote unquote loser. They didn't want to, um, you know, they didn't want to be seen as a loser. They didn't want 
to uh, uh, be seen as the only person that couldn't get somebody. When in actuality, there's lots of people who are single, you know what I mean? It's just that, you know, again, that's that's the game of what we consider the game to be, the game of quote unquote value. And that's what it is that you see on YouTube. You essentially see a bunch of goofy individuals who all intents and purposes have low or very poor self image trying to basically trick everybody into thinking and using tactics, right? Uh, tricks and, and magic tricks, low level magic tricks into, into having everyone believe that they're more valuable than they actually are. When in actuality, they look dumb. So that's what the game is. And you see it even on YouTube. What's the best way to get with a significant other? There is no best way to get with a significant other. Ultimately, you just have dignity, have self-respect, have respect for the other person, walk up to them, say, hey, listen, I'm interested, right? Ask them to hang out. If they say no, move on. And the fact that people can't move on is, is, is proof in the pudding of how scared a lot of people actually are to even be rejected. Because if they had all this game, if you had all this game, rejection comes uh, uh, with the experience of it. So the mere fact that you have all these people trying to prove that, you know, they're this valuable and nobody can reject them is a part of the game. And it's showing you how ridiculous it is. So this is why I say a million times, eventually, regardless of whether or not people want to deal with it, they're going to have to stop playing the games because the people like me who really see through the facade, it, it makes people look like a loser. Like, wow, like you, like I'm, I'm trying to holler at you and you couldn't just say, nah, you didn't have anybody, you know, like that's the type of stuff that makes people look really socially awkward. Like if I call you up and I'm like, Hey, what's going on with you? You want to, you want to go see a movie and you're like, nah, I don't want to do all that or whatnot. But then when you see me coming out with one of my homies that I may have went to movies, theaters where we, we went to go see the Avengers or something like this, or, or, you know, you see me coming out with someone who I'm on a date with and they look better, they may look better uh, than you, or maybe not even necessarily look better than you, but just more my speed because they're actually willing to say yes, right? And we're having a good time. But I see you coming in the movie theater, my, the exact movie theater that I was originally thinking to, to t on taking you and you come and you coming into the movie theater with someone else. It's like, come on, you, you didn't, you're not really interested in this person because you could have went another day. You ultimately wanted to see if, if I was going to take you to the movie theater because you're insecure. And that's the situation. So the Nine of Cups and the Sun card represents how this is a situation for a lot of you um, Taurians where ultimately the Nine of Cups and the Sun card, like I said, has to deal with value, right? Uh, your own self-esteem. And like most people don't know what real self-esteem is because most people cap. It's not about trying to prove something to somebody else. It's more about your own experiences, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It's not about competition. It's not about trying to compete with other people. It's because it's, that's some egotistical stuff. It's always about if you're doing better and if you're progressing compared to where you used to be. And that's how you gauge the timeline from if you're doing better and if you're doing worse, right? But again, the game get in the way and you have people essentially trying to that's why it is that you get the Fresh and Fit podcast. That's why it is that you have a lot of these goofballs on the internet fronting with with fake jewelry. You know what I mean? Like fresh from Fresh and Fit. It's like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like your jewelry is fake. You know, your AP is fake. Your earrings is fake. And I know because if you've ever seen real diamonds, if you ever went to a real jewelry shop who's selling real jewelry, you know that especially if it's clear diamonds, any any kind of light source, those diamonds are going to dance. 
You know what I mean? Especially, you know, any kind of light source that those diamonds get caught up in, the diamonds are going to dance. So the mere fact that you, you know, you flash in your AP and your diamonds look green and your diamonds don't dance, the, the you know, the light on the diamonds don't dance, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like this, it's like, come on. You know, not to mention, you know, no no shots. I'm just spitting facts. Not to mention, those diamonds are going to fall out. And you're going to have to go to the jeweler to get those diamonds refixed and put back in. So, let's clarify the fun card. The Seven of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, wow. The Six of Pentacles. So... The seven of wands represents what you Taurians need to do is work on your own self image, your own self esteem by understanding that this is how you need to handle yourself all the time. As long as you're being respectful to others, but yet you're not a doormat, you're okay. And the will of fortune represents how uh, otherwise, if you if you put yourself in a position to be sacrificed, the Six of Pentacles, you will be. So it's just a matter of how it is that you you end up playing your own game. And what I mean when I say playing your own game is how you express your own form of power. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Peace.